What's up, party people? This is Chris here, from Best Day Fitness and Floats. I'm going to take you guys on a journey with me, show you how I clean the float tank after every use. I'm going to uh, bring you guys in. Oop, let's see. All right, so let's see here. Here's what we're going to do first. We've got uh, this is alcohol, isopropyl alcohol mix. And I'm basically going to spray down everything after each float. So every surface that was touched, every handle, every surface. I'm going to do the floor. I'm going to do the uh, shower, all the, uh, the hose. All this will be sprayed down. Basically just misting, misting every surface with isopropyl alcohol. And that's going to kind of be my base layer to kind of get all the surfaces that anybody would have touched. I'm going to throw all the towels, the, all the washcloths, everything that was used in the uh, hamper. I'm going to get rid of that. Start with fresh uh, linens next time. So we'll put that out here. And uh, yeah, now I'm going to uh, get the floors so you can uh, transfer COVID probably on your feet too. So we're going to get every surface clean that each person may have touched during their float. So basically just missing everything with alcohol, all the surfaces in the bathroom and the float room. And this is just our first step of the cleaning process. We disinfect every surface first with alcohol and then a CDC approved uh, aerosol cleaner when we're all said and done. So we got, uh, so we have our um, alcohol spray down done. So I'm gonna let that sit for a few seconds so the alcohol can do its job. And then I'm gonna go back in there and uh, wipe it all down with a uh, clean towel. So a fresh towel for every wipe down. And we'll grab some, uh, grab some towels out of our, actually I'm gonna grab two of these. And I'm gonna kind of wipe up, dry up the floor with fresh towels. So we get all the surfaces nice and dried up after each use. I'm gonna take another towel while I'm doing the floor. I'm gonna wipe down all the surfaces that I sprayed down. So we're wiping all the handles down. I'm gonna wipe down everything I sprayed in the shower, everything that might have been touched. Wiping down. So, again, all these surfaces have been pre treated with alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. Now we're just going through and wiping up everything. Everything that might have been touched. All right. Don't worry, I'll get to the float tank cleaning next. But right now, we just want to get all the other surfaces. The cool thing about the float tank sanitation is the salt water, anything the salt water touches is instantly clean because it kills all the viruses. It's a thousand pounds of Epsom salt uh, in every, in the tank. So it's kind of like the Dead Sea, nothing grows. That's why they call it the Dead Sea. So if you guys are watching this whole video, you must be bored tonight on a Friday night. <laughs> but just wanted to kind of show everybody our cleaning protocols after every float in a little more detail so you can have an idea how, how clean this is. So now I'm just going to go on the bathroom floor and again, wiping down all the traffic areas where any kind of COVID virus might sit. And plastic and hard surfaces, it sits for a couple days. So we want to make sure all those surfaces that are Touched with uh, human contact is disinfected. All right. So we sprayed down all this. I'm gonna go back over it, just dry it up a little bit on my fresh towel. All the surfaces. All right, and then I'm gonna come back through with a deeper cleaning. Or excuse me, I'll spray the aerosol, the CDC approved aerosol over everything when I'm done. But now what I'm gonna do I'm going to uh, disinfect and wipe and go knock out some surfaces 
on the float tank. So now we're going to uh, make sure everything that's touched in the float tank, the buttons, the handles, or the uh, pneumatic springs, anything, that, any surfaces that might have been touched by the last person who floated, we're gonna wipe all that down now. Just to be safe and make sure all the surfaces have been disinfected. So all the cleaning products that we use are uh, approved by the CDC to kill coronavirus and flu viruses. So just giving everything a nice wipe down, all the surfaces that would be touched. Kind of just going, sorry it's the shaky video, but I'm doing it handheld. Again, we're gonna get all the buttons and we're gonna get the, uh, get nice and clean up the handles. I'm gonna actually take that out and clean that separately. Uh, wipe the buttons down. Again, getting, still got a nice, moist uh, Lysol wipe. So that's getting a good, good cleaning surface. Now we got the lid or the uh, rim. I'm just gonna kinda get a fresh Lysol for that. That way, because this is usually where you put your hands on when you're getting in and out of the tank. So we're just getting a nice Lysol wipe with that. Killing everything dead. No more viruses on those surfaces. And there's a little salt on there from the float. So once this kicks in and kills all the viruses, I'm gonna come back with some, some reverse osmosis water and run the water over the, the lip to get rid of the salt. But otherwise, everything in here has been wiped down. Everything that was touched, uh, we do light switches. Um, we also spray down the door handles. Uh, with both alcohol and the uh, the CDC approved aerosol. When I'm all done, I'll go over that. Uh, let's see here. So we got all the surfaces in the float room, got all the surfaces in the bathroom, uh, the handles. And at this point, we're gonna come back out to the main room. And, all right, so, so far we've done alcohol prep. We Lysoled all the other surfaces near the float tank. Uh, cleaned everything in the bathroom. Now at this point, now that everything's dry, I'm gonna go back with this. Uh, now here's the magic, here's the magic juice right here. Uh, this is basically, this is hospital grade cleaner, disinfectant. Um, yeah, this is pretty much uh, kills everything and prevents, uh, prevents things from sticking too, so. Um, I spray that over all the handles and again I'm wearing gloves while I'm doing all this so I'm not getting my so I'm not getting my uh, germs on anything and wearing a mask while I'm cleaning too so I'm not breathing on all the surfaces so I'm gonna spray down again all the handles anything that's been touched And this aerosol spray just kind of sits in all the crevices and, and does its job. You can probably can't hear it, but it actually sizzles when it hits contact. So you can definitely tell it's cleaning things. So cleaning all, all the places that people touch. And then just going one over on everything else. So if I didn't get it the first time with the uh, alcohol, I definitely got it the second time with this aerosol spray because this gets into all the little cracks and crannies. So we got two forms of disinfectant with alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, and the Lysol wipes. Oops, sorry, running around here. And the Lysol wipes, put those back. Now that we got the uh, everything cleaned out, I'm just gonna go back in and uh, do some other cleaning, get some rid of the, some of the salt residue helps to disinfect things but just want a nice clean tank for the next uh, go around um, so this is the procedure that we follow after every float uh, so make sure everything's nice and clean again I'm to I still need to clean that so I'm going to go do that I'm going to get the filter going as well and uh, what I'm going to do here when I have the filter going I'm actually going to put some oxidizer in the tank uh, that helps the um, 
We're required by the state of Florida to have bromine in the tank, which disinfects. It's a disinfectant. It's just like chlorine. Uh, when uh, when you use oxidizer, it activates it activates the uh, the bromine. So the bromine latches onto any organic material in the tank. Even though the salt kills everything, uh, the bromine is just a, a redundancy system for cleanliness. And I notice that when I do activate the bromine. Uh, the um, it's it just smells clean in there. You can just tell that everything's nice and nice and neutralized. So I'm going to turn the pump on, and we're going to go back and put some uh, oxidizer in the tank. Again, bromine is what we use for disinfectant. We use a very small amount of it, about five parts per million. Uh, the state requires at least uh, three parts per million. Uh, up to uh, anywhere to like 12 parts per million. So we're we're sticking at about five parts per million of bromine. So what I'm going to do here, we got the uh, oxidizer, uh, it's measured out, and we're just going to toss it in there and just let it mix and let the filter pump it through the system. And again, what that's going to do, that's going to latch on to all the, or it's going to activate the bromine, which will latch on to all the organic material that falls off when you're floating skin cells and hair. And then what latches on disinfects everything and then puts it through the filter. And this whole process in between on, uh, it wasn't on earlier when I was cleaning because this last, uh, I don't have any floats for the rest of the day. But if we did have another float after this, the, the filter would have been on, uh, cycling all the water through the filtration system at least at least uh, eight times uh, in between floats, all the water goes to the filtration system. Three-step filter, I'll kind of show you that process. So we got, got our little trap here, and then we got the big filter, uh, and then we've got a, a, we got a hair trap on the inside of the intake as well. So you got three still filters that the water goes through. Um, so now the oxidizer is activating the bromine, uh, the water's uh, started to get disinfected, so again, the salt kills everything, but we use bromine as a redundancy system as per the state of Florida Health Department, in which they come in every six months to make sure all those levels are accurate and uh, appropriate, so uh, we keep that up to date every day. Uh, but again, still need to uh, clean off this, and also going to spray this down with some alcohol and let it dry as well. So um, I think that's about it. For our cleaning procedure, after this, I just go uh, do another spot check. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna clean that and this. Do a little spot check. Make sure everything's been uh, disinfected. I'll go over the mirrors. Um, and then once we uh, get through that, I'll reset the room, put uh, fresh linens back on the floor, fresh towels, and uh, everything's been washed. So it's a one-time use, everything. So you're getting a fresh set of towels every time. And uh, yeah, I think that kind of goes over our cleaning protocol. Um, there might be a couple things I left out, but mostly that is, uh, that is what we do here. So if you guys were wondering how we keep the tank clean, that is how we do it. Um, again, the float tank is super clean. Nothing grows in it. Uh, the salt environment is a completely sterile environment. Uh, on top of that, we use bromine. And then for disinfecting all the surfaces, we're using alcohol white, or excuse me, al isopropyl alcohol, and then a CDC approved aerosol cleaner to get all the other stuff. So thank you all for watching. Uh, hopefully it wasn't too boring. Uh, please, uh, if you have anybody that's interested in floating and wondering about our disinfectant, uh, disinfecting and cleaning uh, protocols, let them check out this video. And you guys can always message me, ask me any questions on any other details that you may have. But again, we are open. Uh, we are taking temperature when you come in. We also have a pulse oximeter. This is kind of cool. If you do, if your temperature is starting to get warm or if you're not sure if you uh, have any other symptoms, we can do the pulse oximeter and that'll tell your blood, your uh, oxygen level in your blood. And that's usually a good sign that you're five days out from catching some, or uh, your body's starting to fight something and the symptoms are about five days away. So. That's another way we clear people. So if you have any other signs or symptoms of feeling sick, just don't come in, reschedule, obviously. Um, customers do not have to wear masks. All our staff are required to. And also if we're uh, checking in floats, we also wear gloves. So all the surfaces we touch are nice and clean for when you get into your 
pristine float environment. So thank you all for watching. Um, thank you very much. Have your best weekend ever and uh, get back in floating whenever you're ready. Just hit me up. Peace.